The fact of the matter is that these people were accepted into this country. No plans were made post 6 January 2018 for them. The American government in the agreement ceases to be a partner to this agreement in terms of the obligations post 6 January. And therefore, we are left with our obligations, and that is to try and, and integrate them into Ghanaian society, which is what the government then did by granting them refugee status. This, this issue, yes, directly has uh, involves the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but there are other ministries that are also dealing with it. The other ministries are in direct contact with the two. We are not. We deal with the foreign policy aspect of it, the foreign relations aspect of it, because it involves another country, which is the, U uh, the United States. But we are, we, are, we are in the middle of discussions. These are matters of security, of a security nature, and therefore I don't want to, to disclose anything. But that is why I left the, uh, my, my statement open-ended, and I said that we are still consulting and we will uh, examine what we get from other agencies. And I think that is key. That is key in coming out. That is key. That needs to, to come out clearly that the matter has not uh, uh, been concluded. Okay, so it's not if they are staying definitely uh, and, and, and that uh, it's a conclusive decision that they are, going, they are going to continue to stay in the country. For now, we are saying that our hands are tied because they have been granted a, a, a legal status for them to stay here. Okay.